Giga Texas is 89% done and the foundation is finished. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. A quick thanks to the newest Patreons, Philip Ozell, Sleestack3, and Gibson Bathrick at the very cool level. Very cool. And please smack the like button early so others might actually get to see this video, since YouTube lately hasn't liked showing my videos to people, even sometimes my subscribers. Your help is appreciated. Yes, the site prep and foundation for the main building of Phase 1 is finished. When this launched 46 weeks ago, I had no idea how the numbers would hold up, but man, has this been an amazing journey, and the finish line is well within sight. There's so little left to track, so let me know in the comments what aspects you'd like to see covered, or what kind of size comparisons you'd like to see. How many Walmarts? How many Home Depots? Football fields? I don't know, I've done a bunch of them, and they're all goofy. So, you know, like the comments always say, anything to avoid metric. So let's jump right in to the weekly progress graph and see what's up. The site prep and foundations are, as mentioned, at 100%. We don't even need to talk about them in the future, so that should save some time moving forward. The framing grew slightly in the central corridor and is now at 97% done. This should be finished in the next three weeks or thereabout. There's just so little left to be done and it's possible the only delay here is waiting for the concrete to sufficiently cure before more steel can go up. The site's overall progress climbed to 89%, and we likely have another three to four weeks of big jumps before this slows into the long tail awaiting interior areas to catch up, but that's exciting in its own way. The roof had a very strong week, but again, there's just not much to say about it that you can't see for yourself. Even once the first layer covers the entire site, this number won't be at 100% because part of it tracks more slowly to account for additional layers, uh, the addition of vents, changes that occur, all of that. The interior completion saw a nice jump as even more areas were closed off. There aren't many walls left to go, so the roof coverage is sufficient for that to count in the central corridor, since it's already got walls on three sides. The interior tracks slowly, but an awful lot of it is truly done, and vastly more is already racking up by the week. So this is what Giga Texas looked like as of November 1st, 2021. And now let's roll it back to December 14th when this tracker first launched and go through it as we do a week of a week. To understand the site map, this is the overall footprint of the main building. The orange is the footings, with the darker orange being heavier footings. The gray is the framing work, with the darker gray indicating roof sections. In blue, you see the finished interior closed off space, with darker blue indicating more floors. Yes, we track the floors. So the darker the blue, the more floors that there are. The black lines indicate a firewall or expansion joint, with the heavier black lines indicating a concrete wall. And as a reminder, this only tracks the main emerald footprint, not any of the other projects around the site, since we haven't seen permits and we don't know what their eventual size and scope will be. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. So there it is, and there you go. As of November 1st, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of Yo Cybertruck, is 89% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 525 days from groundbreaking on or about December 27th of this very year. It will actually be done in some capacity well before then, and also not completely done until sometime quite a bit after then, but this has been explained in the previous videos in the series. 
we're well on pace to complete just under 9 million square feet, but for today, we're just over 8.8 .8 million square feet, or 821,000 square meters. We'll have the final figure in a few weeks. If the central corridor continues as a single floor area, it'll be just shy of 9 million, which is 835,000 square meters. If we get to mid-December and cars start rolling off the assembly line, I'm going to absolutely lose my mind. The very first target date, when this series very first started, was projecting December 16th of this year. So if it winds up being within a week of that in either direction, boy, it would suggest to me that my math was ridiculously sound, and it only needs subtle adjustments in how quickly certain slower parts are counted for future trackers. There's now massive amounts of earthwork underway to shape the final drainage, detention and retention ponds, and prepare for an extension to the south end of the building. I could try to explain this, but Joe Tetmeyer did a fantastic job breaking it down already earlier this week, so I will just throw a link in the description to his video instead, where you can see all about what's going on in this area. We'll keep you posted on that as it moves forward. And as other buildings begin, we will track those as well. Thanks to those of you who joined the live stream last week, where we looked at some of the most exciting and absurd EVs being made in China. There was some really fun and goofy stuff in there. And a heads up that there will be another live stream this coming Friday at a new time of 7 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see you there. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified, follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast, and smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your wisdom and suggestions in the comments below, and as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop. And a quick thank you to my amazing gracious patrons who get early access, bonus content, an ad-free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. I move this shout out to the end as a thank you to all of you for your generosity and support, which helps me avoid having to pander to YouTube's dreaded and painful algorithm, so thank you all so much. And as promised, we are over 100 patrons, so there will be a tattoo reveal on Patreon coming up very soon.